the suck zone. It's the point, basically, at which the twister sucks you up. Help! Help! If anyone can hear me, this is H.C. Bailey on Let's Play Final Fantasy II. I'm trapped in the suck zone, and I can't get out! Oh well. I guess I gotta kill the Emperor to stop this whirlwind, so let's do it. Not much left now. I uh, backtracked a couple floor, well, one floor here. Um, so, um, oh, by the way, uh, the enemy in that chest in the last episode was a general. Uh, he's pretty tough, but uh, susceptible to Minion Toad. Um, I'll meet up with him later, so I'll just demonstrate that battle later. So, you gotta take these other sets of stairs to my right to get to the next floor. So, let's go. Pretty straightforward from here. Okay, um, wow, now we get a brick wall inside of a tornado. You know, at first I thought the outer walls was just like wind or something, but this is getting ridiculous. Anyway, uh, you can take either path around. Uh, they'll both lead to the same place, so. All those rooms in the middle there are just from a path that leads to a dead end. They're all empty, so nothing to worry about there. Okay, now those are the stairs to the final floor, but I want to open that chest first. And I think I want to send Fury and Maria to the back row for this one. So we get the Wind Flute. It uses Wind or Tornado 13 or something, but it's negligible damage as far as I'm concerned. And we get to fight a Green Dragon, who's not as intimidating as the music, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, but she could use a Well, yeah, we're pretty close to the end. I don't need to restore my MP. Thinking about using Aspel, but nah, I don't think so. Okay, I really don't want to wait for this spell to resolve. They fixed that in Final Fantasy III. Don't worry about it. Spell animations don't take nearly as long. Yay! We turned a dragon into a midget. <laughs> that one never gets old for me. Okay, we're at the final floor here, but I want to make some preparations before I uh, go up there, so I will take care of that and be right back. Okay, I've got everything ready to go here, and uh, we're all healed up. Fearing and Marine are in the back row with their equipment removed, so let's do it. There's the Emperor himself. Don't waste my time. You burned my village to the ground, bombed our cities, kidnapped the princess, and summoned a whirlwind to finish us off. This is a tissue of lies. See, there was another Bill, a, an evil Bill, and I killed him. Ha <laughs> ha, you liar. W wait a minute. So your name's Emperor Bill Paramikia? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That just kind of works with the clip I got, but uh... Can you imagine that, if that was his name? Like, sorry to anyone named Bill, but that just doesn't sound like an intimidating name of someone trying to take over the world, Emperor Bill. <laughs> so now we have to fight his guards, who are just as easy to defeat, because we have Mini! Yay! He doesn't even give us the thrill of giving us boss music. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm just going to go through these guys real fast. I won't fast forward through the boss fight coming up here. Yay, we can turn his guards into toads. Haha. <laughs> and I don't care about that. Next. That was nothing! Try this! Less guards! <laughs> Less guards is more of nothing? What? <laughs> okay. Whatever, dude. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to get uh, Richard healed there, and uh, yeah, we'll take care of that. Okay, come. Uh, okay, well, I'll have to heal him in the next battle. Okay, let's get through this one. And we gained more soul. Yep, you underestimated us, alright. Let's play. And we get to fight the Emperor, who's in the back row. But first things first, uh, I want to 
Yeah, we need to kill those uh, guards first, because they'll poison us. And uh, that can be really annoying for a reason I'll explain later. So, uh, yeah, don't even bother trying to switch swords here. Just uh, attack the golem. Man, we don't even get boss music for the Emperor. The final boss of the game, no boss music. I mean, what the hell? Could have made it a little more, uh, you know, climactic, you know? Oh, whatever. But anyway, the reason why I want to kill the guards first uh, is because the the scene after this one, there's an automatic scene, of course, and you're walking around in it. And I don't want to have this ah! noise going on all the time while I'm walking around because I'm freaking poisoned! Sorry, I just got a little carried away there. Yeah, you know, it's just... I don't want to have to deal with that, you know? I mean, throughout the whole scene. Anyway. <laughs> okay, um, you know, I could kill the Emperor the hard way, but I prefer to be amusing. So, let's just uh, turn him into a toad or a midget, whichever one comes first. That's it for him. And now... You are into a toad! Transformed into a toad. Yeah. Victory! Next! Yay! We defeated the Emperor! <laughs> Loser! Why'd you go find your own twister, buddy? Loser! Yeah, you guys have a nice day too. Yeah. Move on! Let's go home. Yay! We get to watch a nice, peaceful ending. It's finally over. Oh, what kind of ending music is this for a dance scene? Let's put on something a little more upbeat, shall we? There we go. That's more like it. Everybody dance now! Okay, now, let's just, uh, keep going with this. <laughs> Why is Gordon dancing with Hilda? I mean, it's not like they're married or anything. Emergency! Oh, the Dark Knight has taken over. Oh, no. The game's not over yet? The Dark Knight was Leon? What the hell? Why did he join the bad guys? They, they tried to kill him. You see, if, if I left someone poisoned, we'd have that noise when you're walking around while you're poisoned to remind you that you're still poisoned in the middle of the scene, and that's just very annoying, so. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Leon is her brother, but we are going to kill him anyway, so. Yep. And, yep, Dark Knight is the new emperor. Well, at least we killed the old emperor. Chase tornadoes. Deep down, I always just thought it was a metaphor. <laughs> Actually, that clip has nothing to do with what's going on. I just thought it was amusing. So, we're done with the whirlwind now. So, well, just like most good games, the Emperor is never the final boss. It's his right hand man, of course. Yeah, he used to be our ally, sort of, with his 30 HP, but. The Emperor is controlling him with black magic. Well, you, oh, that's your excuse for everything. That could be true. Well, how could he still be under his control? I mean, what is he doing? Controlling him from beyond the grave? I don't think so. Okay, well, we've got to find a way to uh, get the Paramecia. So, because um, that's where Leon is. So, um, let's find our, our good friend Paul. Surely he will know what to do. Despite not being a, an official member of the Rebellion, Paul always seems to know what to do, even though the royalty has no idea and they're totally incompetent. Sid is looking pretty bad. Uh-oh. How'd he get here? He was sucked into the whirlwind, huh? Man. Uh, 
Okay, take forever to die, please. Okay, let's move on. You okay, Sid? So, goner, take care of your airship. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Sid is dead. Well, I guess I have to get his airship, because that's the only way I'm going to get to Paramikia. It's surrounded by mountains, so... Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II, I will meet you at the Ruins of Poft, which is where I'll find Sid's airship. So, I'm going to have to go there and take it to Paramikia. So, this is HC Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.